Okay, so I'm only gonna do this for demonstration purposes. I'm not gonna actually go through the full process, but I'll just kind of show you the uh, the basics of cutting side sills for Renesis rudders. Because it's a little bit different process, it, mostly the same, but a little bit different than uh, cutting older side sills for older rudders. Okay, so here in my hands, I have three different types of side sills. And these are the three different types that have been used from 1974 to 2012. And my dog is just playing around, so that yeah, that that's what you hear in the, in the background. So let's see which one's this one. Yeah, so here is a seventy-four to eighty-five side sill. Um, it's thicker. It's a little bit uh, wider than the uh, eighty-six to o two side sill, and it's I think it's about the same thickness as a uh, outer or the outer piece of the uh, Renesis side sill. Just thicker and you know, there's that. Then of course you have the 86202. It's a lot skinnier, a little bit thinner than the older ones. And well, yeah, they're used between 86 and 2002. Then you have the Renesis side sill and it's somewhat of a combination of both. Uh, see on the outside it's thicker, but on the bottom side that goes into the rotor, uh, it's skinnier. It's about the same uh, thickness as the uh, 86 to 02 side sill. And that is because it's tapered. So I don't know how well you can see this. Let's see if I can get it to focus on that. Yeah. So it's a, it's a little bit odd to cut these. So basically the way you cut them, um, well, the way you cut these is you just cut them straight and you just try to get your angle correct. But these ones with the taper, you'll it'll look like it's cut incorrectly, but it's actually cut straight across down here, but it only angles up here because of the taper. So that makes it a little bit confusing. And then while you're cutting, you don't uh, measure the clearance the same way you do with older rotors. Okay, so uh, here is a side sill that I finished cutting and it's at four thousandths clearance. And four thousandths is extremely thin. Here's two, which is what you cut older side sills to for like your NA engine. Uh, for high boost, you wanna go up to like four thousandths or something like that. And uh, yeah, they're extremely skinny. It's a very, very short clearance. But if I were to put the side sill in the slot, out of here. Paper side. I just put it in the slot. What you'll notice is that it moves pretty freely and you know it looks like it has excessive clearance. But according to this little sheet that you can get from Atkins Rotary, it shows you how to uh, properly measure Renesis side sills. So what you do is you take a 0.15 millimeter or six thousandths filler gauge Put it on the end of each, uh, you know, each end of it. Where is my other one? Shit. This one? Yes, it is. Let me put that there. Then you want to make sure it's level with both corner sills. And then you can take your filler gauge and just slide it right in there. It should slide in fairly freely. It shouldn't be too loose or too tight because otherwise you'll be able to fit in the uh, the next size up. You'll just crush into there. So yeah, this one turns to four thousandths. That's exactly where I want it. On my last video, uh, let's see, I, I showed why a freshly built Series 2 Renesis failed right off the bat because it, it looked like it was barely put together and it was maybe run enough just to get up to temperature once and then eat side sills right after. And that's because whoever clearance the side sills clearance them just like this without the filler gauges uh, on each outer end. And uh, yeah, that's, that's not okay because unlike older rotaries, uh, the Renesis uses a side port exhaust. Uh, that means that the uh, the side sills 
see a lot of stress and heat from exhaust, whereas the apex seals do not. That also explains why the apex seals and the rennesis are shorter, because they don't need to take that extra stress from exhaust ports, like peripheral exhaust ports. Um, their only job is to seal and nothing more. Uh, you know, some people think that rennesis sides or uh, apex seals are weaker for that reason, and it's technically true, but they're only weaker because they don't need to be any stronger than that. Their literal job is to seal and nothing more. Whereas the side seals take on the job of, you know, all their apex seals, uh, in a sense. That's why it's thicker on the outside, but thinner on the inside and they're tapered. Um, the other thing that the, uh, tapered side seals do is uh, they have like a little bit of a wooden window washing effect. That's how it was explained to me uh, by Charles at BHR because um, it can go in and out just like that. And uh, I guess it, it helps scrape off carbon buildup and shit. Uh, there's also an oil scraper ring, a third oil control ring. Um, it, it doesn't seal oil because it doesn't have an O-ring for it, but there is a oil scraper ring and I guess it's job to scrape oil or whatever because that's what it's called. But I, it plays into that a little bit too. But uh, I, I hope I touched on all the basics of, you know, Renesis side seals and stuff like that. Now, if you are modifying a uh, Renesis rotor to use in an older motor with peripheral exhaust or you're doing one of those shit show builds where these Renesis irons and 80, uh, 74 to 85 housings, where you have side port exhaust and peripheral exhaust, uh, you will need to mill the apex slots for deeper apex seals, or just get some of those cheap, shitty, you know, unbreakable seals, and you should be fine to use that, like RA or Goopy or E and J or you know, whoever advertises their seals as unbreakable, they'll be fine for that. You'll just wear the shit out of your housings pretty quickly, but that's about it. But um. Yeah, when you're cutting the side sills for those types of types of build, if you're not throwing boost at it, then uh, you want to uh, clearance it to two thousandths. Um, that'll give you the, the best and op optimal compression because the side sills aren't going to see as much uh, as much heat as they would in the Renesis with side port exhaust if they're only being used with peripheral port exhaust. So, hope that makes sense, and uh, I don't know, maybe it, if you guys want, I can make a full video on cutting Renesis side sills, uh, just show you the process, but yeah, you're, you're basically cutting straight at an angle, if that makes sense. And uh, I think that's all that needs to be said. If there's something that you can see or whatever that was left out, Go ahead and leave it in the comments, but that's going to do it for now. All right, see ya.